Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul Bosco and welcome to my brand new video cooking series. This is episode one of What's Cooking with Paul Bosco. Today, we're gonna cook the king of smoked meats. It's a smoked brisket. We're gonna get to it right now. Hey everybody, it's Paul Bosco here. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while. I've kind of been messing around a little bit, getting some videos going. Um, this is this is it. This is the first official video for Let's Cooking with Paul Bosco. So that's it. So I'm going to start a little um, video blog. We're going to cook everything. We're going to cook meat. We're going to bake pastas, ethnic dishes. We're going to we're going to go through. Just, just everything. I love all kinds of food. I love cooking all kinds of food. So um, this is the start of something, hopefully big. We'll see where it goes. Um, at the end, there's gonna be a chance to uh, like my page. I know you're gonna like it. Please subscribe. There's gonna be all kinds of great stuff coming out. And uh, it's just real world cooking. But I, I do like to experiment. I like to try new things. And occasionally I'm gonna burn something. And occasionally I'm gonna make something that might not taste great. But that's okay. Most stuff tastes pretty damn awesome. All right. So I'm pretty excited about this. So again, it's What's Cooking with Paul Bosco. That's me. And I think there's no better way to start off my kick ass cooking show than with this. This here has 14 pounds of brisket love. And we're going to nurture the hell out of this thing. We're going to trim it up a little bit got some of my own, own homemade seasonings i'm going to put on it i'm going to inject it a little bit we're going to throw it on my trigger smoker smoke it over some hickory for about 10 to 12 hours uh, starting early tomorrow morning and you know a brisket it's one of those things when i first started cooking brisket man i just i just couldn't figure it out um, but i got it figured out and it's really not difficult you just need patience there is just no way to cook a brisket fast and have it come out juicy and tender. So we're gonna cook it low and slow, uh, 10, 12 hours probably. Um, cook it till uh, internal temperature about 195, so it takes a while. It's kind of cold outside, so uh, that might slow it down a little bit. Maybe I'll need an extra hour just cause the smoker might take a little more to uh, keep up the heat. Anyway, um, my daughter, believe it or not, is saying, Dad, when can you cook brisket? I love your brisket. Well, um, today's the day. Well, today's not the day. Tomorrow's actually gonna be the day we're, we're cooking it, but I'm gonna get it all ready tonight. We're gonna keep it refrigerated uh, overnight. Take it out about uh, six or 7 a.m., throw it on a smoker, and it is going to be, it's, it's gonna be freaking incredible. It's just, all right. So, I mean, basically what we're doing right now, we're just gonna take off any excess fat where there is fat, I want it to kind of just be maybe about a quarter inch thick. I don't need too much of it on there. And we're just going to take it off layer by layer until we get down just close to the meat. You don't want to take all the fat off just because, quite frankly, when we're cooking it, that fat on the outside, it's probably going to be the best tasting part of the whole damn animal. And so we're looking forward to that. And this one's actually trimmed up pretty good. It does not have a whole lot of fat to take off. So believe it or not, I got a little too much off there. So believe it or not, I actually got this brisket um, from Walmart. Not to plug Walmart, um, but they got good brisket. They got good pork butt, good pork shoulder, great ribs. Um, if I want a filet or a ribeye, I'm probably not going to go to Walmart. But for these... Uh, these lesser cuts of meat, let's just call it that. They just do a really good job. I know that sounds strange. I, I've actually, I've thought, I've dreamed about having a cooking show. God, for probably 15 or 20 years. Um, so now's the time. We're not waiting no more. Um, I love making videos. I love cooking. It's, it's a perfect match. It's a match made in heaven, you might say. That's about all I need to cut off of there. There's not a whole lot to cut off. So 
that's all the fat I got off with. That's really not that much off a 14 pound brisket. That's maybe, maybe a pound, maybe a little bit more. It's not too bad. You know, I said I was gonna inject it. I'm not, I haven't injected it for probably the last five or six times I've made a brisket. It does come out pretty darn good, just doing it this way. Don't be surprised, I'm gonna have a lot of times where I say I'm gonna cook something, I'll start it. I'll change my mind right in the middle of it. So this is my, uh, my homemade rub here. I don't have quite enough for this brisket. Um, I've added a few more spices to it, so I have a little bit more. Um, honestly, I use Old Bay all the time. I don't like Old Bay just by itself, um, but I use it as a base and I mix a lot of things to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. And there's a few spices that I put on almost all of my rubs. Um, one is chili powder, lots of chili powder. I love chili powder. Let's put the rest of it in there. There's about, about, about a half a jar of that. Smoked, smoked paprika. It's just, it's incredible. Pretty much every, my pork rub, my chicken rub, my beef rub, um, I put smoked paprika on pretty much all of it. And we'll go a little onion powder and uh, lots of black pepper. Black pepper is fantastic on beef when you smoke it. And a little bit of that. And you know, I haven't, I don't use too many dried herbs. Um, today I am going to use just a little bit of thyme, not too much. That's quick. Usually I'll make a batch that'll so fill about this whole thing up, but I'm just uh, adding a little bit to it. And this is easy. And we're going to coat it pretty, uh, pretty evenly. We don't want to miss anything. We want to put a nice little bark on there. Actually, my brisket's a little long. Hold on, we're going to fix something here really quick. Uh, let me get my foil out. I'm going to put on my foil. Where did I put my foil? I'm going to end up putting it in the refrigerator over the night, wrapped in foil. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put it on the foil. Just put two pieces over, fold the ends over, make it like one big piece. There you go. Brisket on top. And let's just finish rubbing this guy down. So when I do inject it, I'll usually use this, uh, it's just a beef broth, what's well, a beef base, I guess. It's kind of a paste, um, very beefy, very salty. Um, I'll get that, just, you know, you basically you mix it with water. And then I add a little melted butter to it and put it all together. And that's what I inject with. Um, actually, when I inject my pork, I use a butter mixture too, um, just with a number of different liquids. All depends on what I'm in the mood for. I'll use Coke, I'll use Dr. Pepper. Root beer is really good to inject it. You put some spices and some butter on it. And you want to get everything. The burnt ends on this thing, once it's done, are just going to be fantastic. And you want to make sure you got a good amount of seasoning on pretty much everything. And that's pretty much it. We're going to wrap this thing up in foil. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator. Probably gonna wake up at about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, throw it on the grill. And uh, hopefully about six or seven o'clock at night, hopefully close to six, I made them for six. Um, we're gonna be eating some kick-ass brisket. So the brisket's been on for about four hours right now, smoking over some hickory. It's looking pretty darn tasty. Um, getting that time, I'm gonna start basing it now. Um, I use this. It's just like beef base. It's kind of, they say it's better than stock. Um, I use it all the time. Sometimes I'll use this as a, when I do an injection. Um, it says one teaspoon per cup. I'm, I'm doing about double strength what it says on here. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to dissolve it in warm water and then I'm going to brush it on my brisket. And I'll do that about every hour until I wrap it. That gets toward the end. And this is going to make sure it stays nice and juicy okay all right so i know you're ready we're gonna see what we got going on here oh wait hold on make it wait one second so um i couldn't fight my mop brush i actually had to go make a new mop brush so i went and bought a mop and a hanger and some duct tape it works really really good um anyway that's my homemade mop brush works pretty damn good so are you ready you ready here we go oh 
All right. So that's looking really good. The bark starting to form on there, really tasty. Oh my God. So this is simple. We're just gonna keep it wet. And that's it. That's how you mop it. I think I might have to, have to trim my mop. I think it's a little longer than I want it. Okay, so we're gonna base it about every hour now for the next uh, three or four hours. Basically, when it gets to about 175 degrees inside, then I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna put a little more of this liquid inside turn the heat up a little bit and it's gonna steam inside that's gonna be the last part of really really just making this roast tender and juicy so um, not ready for a sample yet but another hour or two we're gonna start taking samples on it and you're all gonna be jealous and you're all gonna wish you were here but anyway that's my job it's quality control is what we call that so anyway brisket's cooking and it's been cooking for about four hours right now if I didn't already say that and I'll be back. Okay, so we've been smoking for about 11 hours and we're right at internal temperatures. It says 175 right now. I'm gonna take it out of here. We're gonna wrap it in foil. We're gonna put some of this, uh, this liquid in here. It's the same stuff I've been basing it with, uh, which is basically like a beef base uh, type liquid. And then we're gonna wrap it up and then cook it till the internal temperature gets at 195 and it's just going to steam in there and get tender and stay juicy and I gotta stop talking because that looks absolutely freaking incredible right now let's put this thing and uh oh my god I tell ya this thing is like the bomb I'm sorry uh before I put it in there I gotta test it let me see. Yeah! Woo! That's just fucking crazy good, man. Oh yeah, that is crazy, crazy good. Just kind of lift it up a little bit so it doesn't uh, spill over. I'm just gonna pour this right on here. I might use all of this. I'll probably put maybe about a cup of liquid in there. And we're gonna seal it up with this. My temperature probe is still in there, of course. And... Okay, so that's all wrapped up. Let's put it back on the grill. All right, so it's a, it's a time of reckoning. We're right about 12 hours right now. It is time to cut this sucker up. Um, we heated it all the way to 195. I took it off. It went up a few more degrees. I think it went to 198. We're down about 183 right now. Perfect for cutting up. It should have settled. All the juices should be staying in there pretty good. Let's take up my probe. Now, if you remember, um, we poured some juice in here, uh, some of my liquid, and we're gonna save some of that because we're gonna use that at the end. So I'm just gonna kind of take this, and carefully, it's a little hot. Um, I'm just gonna pour some into this measuring cup. Hopefully without making a giant mess. Some goodness right there. I'm gonna set that aside. All right, so you're ready. So here it is. All right, oh my God. This looks so damn good. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, I need more friends. I don't think I can eat all this. GoPro, start recording. Why are you stopping? I don't know why my GoPro stops sometimes. Okay. So here we go. Actually, I'm going to turn this around because I might cut off of this in at first. And... Hey, Jessica, you want a sample? Okay. Everybody likes samples right here. Oh, that's just goodness right there. That's goodness. So I'm going to give this a piece of Jessica right here. Come here, Jessica. Um, no. you, don't need to be, you don't need to be on camera, but that is like... That's like sinfully good right there. Here, I'm gonna show you some of this. Let's get inside. This looks pretty thinking good. All right. It's still pretty hot. All right. So, just look at that. So. That's pretty good. So, actually pretty hot. It's still hot. Um, Woo! Hold on. I'm giving Hannah that's still pretty hot. So you can see there, it just, it pulls right apart. I mean, you can just see the connective tissue 
Um, that's perfect. Oh my God. I was a little worried because um, honestly I had to turn my heat up a little more than I wanted to at the end because it wasn't quite at temperature. Um, that's phenomenal. Oh, I hear more people coming. So this is pretty good right here. Um, that's what happens when you smoke a brisket for 12 hours. Hey, you guys want some of this? Sure, yeah. You're gonna, you come over here. Come over here. I need, come on, come over here. Come over here. <laughs> Here's Nicholas. Okay. That's girlfriend Kennedy. You're on camera right now. That. Yeah, you can taste that. So taste that, take that right there. It's take that. Yeah, and look at, look at the camera and be like a really <laughs> animated face and say how awesome it is. Just take that. Really good. Mm. Not pretty good. good. Wow. Really, really wow. good, huh? Really it is hot. <laughs> it is hot. You can take that. That's mostly that's that's mostly fat right there. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. Oh, so, good. Um, just take some love. That's all. Oh, all right. Oh. I'm gonna. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna finish cutting this up. Oh, by the way, uh, beer of the day. Um, Andy Gator is the beer of the day. It is. Uh, what the hell is this? It's a. Uh, Abita Brewing. It's from Abita Springs in Louisiana. It's a uh, Hell's Double Bock. Actually, it's pretty good. It's a. Uh, let's see. Actually, it's almost like a blonde, like a blonde ale. It's a little sweet, not too hoppy. It's got a good body. Um, honestly, I'd, I would probably like something a little heartier to go with my meat but that's the bear i have i'm not gonna be too picky anyway i'm gonna cut it up we're gonna eat now christine should be here pretty soon we're gonna start eating without christine if she doesn't get here oh my god that's like let me just look at that look at that look at that it's just like it's like just pulls right apart my dog's staring at me the dog wants some the dog is not getting any of this right he might oh you gave it to the cat Get the cat brisket. Oh, by the way, so like I said, this is my first episode. Oh, did you hear that? I'm starting a, a video cooking blog. This is episode one. I, I, gotta, I gotta start with a brisket. And um, there's more to come, all right? There's more to come. Like my page, subscribe to my page. Anything you want me to cook, let me know, I'll cook it. Oh, by the way, so if you have like a really awesome beer you want me to drink, send me a case and then I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> I will drink your beer while I'm doing a video. It's a hell of a way to promo, and uh, it better be a good beer. If it says light, or bud, or Michelob, don't send it. It's gotta be good beer. Um, I'm not a college student, we need it good. Um, what are you laughing at? My kids are laughing at me. I don't fucking care, because I'm eating brisket. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I had a lot of fun cooking that brisket. It was absolutely amazing. I wish you were all here to share it with me. If you like what you saw today, please click the like button. Also, I'm going to have a new video. Or I'm going to try to get a new video coming out every Sunday. So click the subscribe button and tune in for more episodes. We're going to cook all kinds of amazing stuff. Um, again, I'm your host, Paul Bosco. Thanks for tuning in to What's Cooking.